Today, I'm going to share with you our entire marketing strategy for our arts and crafts brand, that Scorch Marker. We sell on a couple different channels, TikTok Shop and Amazon and Shopify and directly into retail stores. I'm going to teach you what I know about attention, both free attention and paid attention. So let's jump right in. You know how I mentioned that there's two different types of attention earlier? Well, there's four ways to get it. You can do organic content and earn it. You can pay for it and advertise. You can do cold outreach to people who have never heard of you before, or you can do warm outreach and have conversations with people that already know you. You are responsible for every single one of those. Guess which one is the easiest and the most free? It's everything but paid ads. A lot of times, we don't have a warm audience to reach out to. I mean, we can open up our cell phone and call and text everybody in there, but eventually that list will be exhausted. Okay. Well, cold outreach, right? We could just reach out to random people, couldn't we? Absolutely. Are they the right people? Maybe, maybe not. Is it the most reliable use of our time right now? It's not. Well, what about paid? What if I just throw money at the problem? Well, what are you gonna use to advertise? Do you have assets? Do you have creative? Have you been making videos? Do you have content that has already been proven to resonate with your customer? Probably not. That leaves us with one other option. That's organic content. We must become our own brand's influencer. I know how that sounds. And I know your immediate thought might be that you have to dance in front of a camera and make TikTok videos, or you have to do uncomfortable things like skits or weird listicles and punching in the air. No, you don't have to do any of that. Content can mean many things. It can be blogs or posts on X. You could be just doing Pinterest pins. What if it's a faceless YouTube channel? Could be AI generated. You could do short form video, long form video, audio podcast, visual podcast, live streaming. Content comes in many forms, but here's why it's important and here's how you use it. We pan for gold. Yep, we're panning for gold. We are literally creating content, putting it out into the world and hoping to find a little nugget, something that resonates, something that gets views, something that gets comments and saves or likes and shares, something that resonates and creates email list subscribers or customers. That's what we're looking for. The most important metric is sales. Which content gets you sales? That's what we're trying to discover. So we're gonna create multiple pieces of content a day. We're gonna put them out into the world. And every time we press post, we get to roll the dice. And eventually, some of that content's gonna hit. Eventually, people are going to leave comments. Then you video reply to those comments and you make more content. And then you get better and you keep making content. And eventually, a video hits. You'll have a video that gets half a million, a million, five million views. It'll create sales. It'll sell out your Shopify store. It'll blow you up on Amazon. That's what we're looking for. That's why we're creating. We're creating to find those pieces of content. Once you find one of those pieces of content, paid ads has now been unlocked. We gotta have content to amplify. That's how paid ads work. It's an amplification mechanism. If we don't have creative to amplify, then there's no point to paid ads. It's just gonna be like lighting money on fire. There's a couple different ways you can amplify content. Google, Facebook, Pinterest, X, TikTok, all the platforms where you can earn attention, you can also spend money to amplify that attention. Now, the last thing that you want to do is boost a post. <laughs> That's a waste of money. What you want to do is you want to strategically put dollars behind it in pursuit of conversions. You need to monitor your CPA or your cost per acquisition. That's where the KPI tracking sheet and lesson comes into play. If you haven't watched that lesson on KPIs and tracking your numbers, please do because it's got key stuff in there like your ROAS and your CPA and your total advertising spend. These metrics are gonna tell you if it's working. We need a feedback mechanism. We must know if this advertising is working, especially if we're gonna be spending our money on it. When you have a winning piece of creative, I want you to choose a platform to amplify it on. If it's a video, just try Facebook. Just keep it simple. That's it, nothing crazy. TikTok ads don't work that well. I've never come in contact with a brand who is getting favorable CPAs on TikTok conversion campaigns. Maybe you can figure it out. I haven't been able to, nor do I know anyone else that has, especially for e-commerce. So just avoid TikTok ads, it's too new. Google, yeah, I mean, you could run video ads on Google, but are they the best at it? No, they're best on demand capture for like search intent. So definitely try it. Definitely figure out what it is that moved your buyer in this content, and then try the text-based demand capture version on Google. The best place for video is Facebook, Meta ads. Install a pixel on your Shopify, take that piece of creative, load it in, let Facebook do its thing. Punch in your headline, make sure it goes to the landing page you want it to go to and put some money behind it. The next step is really crucial. We need to monitor the numbers to make sure that we're not losing money. I mentioned CPA a minute ago. That's your cost per acquisition. You must make sure that that cost per acquisition doesn't exceed your average order value minus your costs. 
So what do I mean by that? Let's say your average order value is 50 bucks. Let's say your costs are $10. That means you have $40 of profit out of that $50 sale. That's an 80% margin. You can afford to spend up to $40 to get a customer to break even. Now, technically it's not breaking even because you have overhead, you have shipping costs, you have other costs associated with running this business, you'd be losing money. You see what I'm getting at here? There's only so much you can spend to acquire a customer profitably. And all of that is determined by knowing your numbers. You must understand your margin and your profit and pricing to have the full picture here. You take that data, you combine it with the data on the KPI tracking sheet, and you'll be able to tell whether or not your advertising is effective. Let me give you another example. The average customer spends $100 in your store. It costs you $25 to make that product. So we've got to bump that down to 75, which is a 75% margin. It's going to cost you $15 to ship. Okay, all right. So let's take out another 15. That's going to go from 75 down to 60. Well, you have other expenses in the business as well. I mean, shoot, just 20% of all the money you make goes to employee overhead, salary. So we got to take another $20 off that 60, and at least $40 left over. That means in order for you to break even on a $100 sale, you can afford to spend up to $40 to get a customer. And that's the rub. How much are you paying to get a customer? If you're anything like me, business banking can feel intimidating and overwhelming. That's why this video is sponsored by Relay, a business banking platform that's better than all the others. Why do I say it's better? Because I use it. I love it. And it's way better than all the other big name banks that I've used. They do everything I need a bank account to do. Multiple accounts, no problem. Send checks, easy. Pay yourself, statements, connect to QuickBooks Online, all of it. It's taken me years to find a banking partner like Relay. So I reached out to them. I asked them if we could work together to sponsor this video because I enjoy and use their products so much. And I know that if I spread the word to you, there's a chance you'll get to experience what I've experienced. Stress-free online business banking. The setup is super easy and can be completed from your computer at home. All you need is your LLC paperwork and your EIN. After a short application process, you're done. There's no monthly fees. There's no monthly minimums. There's no account minimums. There's no minimum balances. There's no hidden fees. Big thanks to Relay for sponsoring this video. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description so you can get set up with your very own business bank account from the comfort of your home. Now, some businesses will lose money on the front end. It's okay if they make up for it with LTV or lifetime customer value. But for us, people that are selling products that aren't regularly consumable, we have to be really careful. We cannot afford to overspend on the front end. Otherwise, we will lose money and not know it. Nobody tells us if these numbers are working. Facebook's not gonna stop you and say, hey, you're overspending, we're not gonna do that. No, it will spend $500 to get a customer if you let it. You gotta pay attention, you gotta check your KPIs, and you gotta know your numbers. This is the quickest way for businesses like us to go out of business, improperly amplifying content and running inefficient ads. Ask me how I know. So that's it, that's the strategy. Make a bunch of content, pan for gold. When you find or discover a piece of content that works and resonates with your customer, you amplify it using ads. If that ad is doing really well and has a click-through rate of above 2% and it all makes sense and you're turning a profit, stand up a whole funnel around it. That means have the landing page match the ad, which would match the buying experience. Have them feel like they're going from ad into a congruent purchasing experience. Keep increasing the spend until a point where it gets inefficient and then go make more content and discover more winning creative and do it again. Once you have like three to 10 pieces of winning creative, you can now spend some extra time editing that creative, trying new hooks, trying new copy, trying new headlines, trying new intros, new music, new deals, new offers. It works. You're never gonna stop creating content for your brand. And when you stop, someone else is gonna be doing it. It's just the nature of the world that we're living in. We always have to be trying to discover winning creative. Constantly must be innovating to create the next best video that's gonna draw on your customer and show them how your product's gonna change their life. There's no exception, it must be done. The good news is that when you do it right, you can literally print money and scale to infinity. It's just really hard. Luckily, I'm really good at meeting with people, asking them a few questions, and then figuring out what type of content they should specialize in, whether it's podcast interviews, short form video, or blog posts. Like, I got your back. I know how to help you discover this. All of this is covered in our membership. You get access to me, the rest of the people in the group, discussion boards, forums, resources, 
lives, all the cool community stuff. That's why I do this, so I can surround myself with people like you. Click the link below and you'll have instant access to everything. I'll see you on the new members call.